it's funny because as a 19 year old i have a lot of friends and just people i know that want to get into entrepreneurship and what i find sort of ironic is that most people have this ideal of you know starting your own business your own agency being an entrepreneur whatever but they don't actually understand what that means and stands for and so the sort of purpose of this video is to talk about three sort three misconceptions that people my age so i'm 19 you know people between 18 to, or even uh, lower like 16 to 25 as they have about business and building an agency that i really would have liked to know when i started and so the three things are expectation versus reality and so most people have this sort of dream or ideal about an agency they think you know they read the four hour work week once and they think they can replicate it let me tell you something and it's no secret that won't happen <laughs> so a funny thing like it's funny because people tell me oh it's not that hard to make 10k a month or whatever keep in mind it took me right around a year to get into that to get to that 10 10k per month mark and i had to bust my ass every single day to you know wake up at 8 work until 12 eat in like an hour and then go back to work and repeat that over and over and over again and people think you know working 4 hours a week is going to <laughs> is going to create something meaningful when you know that's really not the case another sort of mis misconception is that being young is an issue and and that you'll need more trust or whatever and i had that sort of mind frame so i had that idea that just because i was young people wouldn't trust me and that's actually quite a big lie and i've just found that through experience right so just through talking to people i realized that first of all they want your energy so they're looking for youth they're looking for people that are ready to work you know 12 hour days and even if the nothing works for three months they want people that continue to work day in and day out and if you position yourself as that person then they'll be very they'll be far more attracted to you even though you have less work work ex experience than you know a 40 40 year old guy that has worked at x company and achieved x result so one of your main powers is that you're hungry for success and if they're looking for that because most often times it's the mo most hungry that get the most success and so you should really take into account if you are thinking about starting your, your business you know is this first of all the right thing for you i knew when starting out i knew that i was ready to work 10 hour days for a year and not make a good living i really didn't care because what i cared about was first of all freedom so that would be financial that would be location freedom right being able to work whenever or wherever and whenever is has a very big caveat to that because it's definitely not whenever <laughs> but that being said you really what really mattered to me was working on myself and every single day i'd work on something that directly benefited me that was very very important for me and so i just found entrepreneurship to be that route and keep in mind it took me a year of being in an engineering school to actually realize that so i started my agency in parallel with going to an, enge to an engineering school and one thing you must understand about french engineering schools is that the first two years are incredibly intense and so what i mean by that is you know 10 hours 10 hours a day you'd finish you'd start at eight you'd finish at eight <laughs> that's basically it then you had you know an hour of homework and then rin rinse and repeat so it was definitely not the best moment to start my agency but it also made me realize that there's different things and different things make different people react in a different way <laughs> so what i mean by that is certain activities have a delayed impact on yourself and so when you learn soft soft skills for example 
it won't make you money at the very beginning. But the more you do them, the more they get ingrained into your persona. And then almost by accident, you become a keynote speaker or a very influential person. And that's just through an accumulation of actions that don't directly affect you or won't directly get you results, you know, tangible results like money or save you time or whatever, but it's effort and time invested into a skill that will have a delayed. Uh, I found that I struck personally, I found that I struggle with delayed gratification. I like things to, I like to work on things and then see a direct result of my work. And so, you know, I'm not naive and I understand that there are some aspects to life where that's just not possible. I don't have a specific example for that, but you get the gist. So that's very important. And one final thing that I really need to mention, and that's that'll basically dictate if you will have a successful business or if you will be successful in life for that matter, is what is your reason for doing what you are doing and what sacrifices are you willing to make? And so people have commoditized what a sacrifice is and now it's almost like a sacrifice is just something you regularly do. And I want to stress that that's not the case. <laughs> You're going to have to sacrifice relationships. So sacrifice means that you would have liked to continue having that relationship but you didn't continue because you invested more time or more effort into something else and you couldn't spare those 20 minutes talking to a friend every single week and so that's a real life sacrifice that impacts you negatively because <laughs> sacrifices are not are not cool <laughs> but on the moment it impacts you negatively in terms of your emotions so you feel sad but at the same time it'll impact you positively by building determination and setting expectations for yourself and basically the harder things you do the more you do hard things the easier they get and so you just need to rinse and repeat that concept and continue doing hard things that you know you would have never thought yourself possible right so the sacrifices you need to make in order to create a successful business are heavily underestimated and i say that being a person that's ready to work you know 10 hours a day building a business is crazy crazy hard you have stress you have uh, problems you have so many issues that come because of the type of life you chose which is you know entrepreneurship but there are downsides but there's also very very big upsides which i'll get into later but you have to understand that you have to dedicate your entire life your entire existence to that business and if you just go halfway and so you know you work maybe five hours a day and you feel like that's a lot let me tell you that that could have worked maybe five seven years ago but now this definitely won't work because access to information is so easy and so abundant so information is so abundant that radic anybody can learn anything and so how are you going to be different from any of those others competitor other competitors that are trying to beat you at your own game well the easiest way to, to beat them is to outwork them it's honestly the easiest, right? You just have to do more. And what does that actually mean? It's not just sitting at your desktop and talking about things to do for 12 hours straight. It's setting times, setting a calendar, setting different times, blocking different times for different activities. And that allows you to be productive along the way. So I'll get into sacrifices and you know what i've experienced on my end in another video a bit further because i feel like i've over uh, over spent too much time on that but the upsides of just building a business one of the upsides the last piece of information i really want to share is that 
you have to have conviction and you get conviction uh, conviction sorry through sacrifices so to sort of explain that sort of notion conviction is what will sell uh, is you know 80% of selling so if you are convic convinced that you will deliver you know how to deliver and you're sure that this will help a prospect and I mean that deeply right you are certain that this will make him more money than he spends and so if you're sure about that uh, this feeling gets almost teleports to the prospect and they understand they feel from your attitude from the way you speak from you know the emotions you bring that you know what you're doing and you understand it at a deep level and so the link with sacrifices is that you build conviction through sacrifices and to give you a practical example I know that my email campaigns will work. I just, you might ask, you know, why, how, how do you know? Well, I literally spent thousands of hours and I, I honestly mean thousands. <laughs> I spent thousands of hours on my laptop building campaigns. And so once you build enough campaigns, once you've just iterated your way through different angles, through different uh, openers, whatever, you just understand the process much at, at a much deeper level than any other person can ever even imagine, right? So the funny thing with emails, which is what I do, is that you have to get into their mind. You have to put yourself in their shoes and understand how they would feel when they receive this email and your knowledge about how they would feel will directly influence the performance of the campaign. And so through iteration alone, I've been able to develop this sort of spidey sense or this, this sense of, okay, will this campaign work and will this campaign not work? And the point I'm trying to make is that I've only developed this conviction, right? So, uh, I'm sure of if a campaign will work and if a campaign won't work because of iteration and to link back to what I was saying, sacrifices. And so you have to understand you ha you're going to have to make more sacrifices than any other job, but you get the upside, which is, you know, uh, tremendously, <laughs> tremendously, a, a tremendous improvement from what anybody else is experiencing uh, in a different um, job. But you have to understand both sides in order to make a decision of, is this made for you or is this not made for you? And I feel like that's very important to stress it out because a lot of gurus or people on YouTube just keep on saying, uh, you know, because a lot of gurus or uh, I call them gurus, but you can call them whatever. But just people on, on YouTube say that it's easy to make 10K a month or it's easy to build a, a, an agency in 2024 or whatever. But it's really never been harder, but it's never been easier too. So access to information is what makes it easier. Uh, you can basically learn anything for free with a, flu a, f a few clicks, right? But the downside is that anyone <laughs> can learn anything. So you have a ton more competition and everything is more commoditized. So a uh, commoditized, sorry. So basically coming up with a new idea is going to, is, and that's just a trend that'll continue onwards, but it's going to be more and more difficult. So you're going to have to understand where you will differentiate, right? So are you going to differentiate because you have more money, therefore you can uh, use more resources to get success for your clients? Or uh, is it that you have some special sauce or some magic sauce 
that no one else have thought, has thought about and that you're the only one on the market doing that, which is great. If you do, that's great, but chances are you, you don't. <laughs> but the, the easiest factor to maximize is work, right? So work ethic, are you going to outwork everyone else? Um, and that's something you have to figure out for yourself, right? So what does your person personality tell you and where do you excel? And that's something you have to find for yourself. But I thought this would be interesting to share because you often only see one side of the picture and now you have the second.